Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to fix your face ID if it's not working on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. So I'm going to open up Safari here and Apple has a page that walks you through various steps to get your face ID working. And I'm gonna walk you through those steps and help you along the way. Now it says if your face ID isn't working on your iPhone or iPad, the first thing to do is check for updates. So let's get out of here and let's open up our settings and then scroll down to general and software update at the very top. If you need a software update, go ahead and update your iPhone because potentially the face ID isn't working because there's a bug in one of those old iOS versions. So currently it's iOS 15.4.1 just update the latest version. The next thing that you want to do is to check the settings of your face ID. So let's show you where those are. Let's go back into settings here and we will scroll back and then we will scroll down until we see face ID and passcode. So we'll tap on that and hit our password here. And you can make sure that all of these are toggled on iPhone unlock, iTunes, wallet, password autofill. You want to make sure all of these are toggled on to make sure that your face ID is enabled to be used. So the next thing that it says is to check that nothing is covering the true depth cameras. Now at the very top of your iPhone, there's a little pill shape or a little cutout where that's black. The very far left and right side of that are your true depth cameras that measure and scan your face to enable that face ID. So if you have a case on your phone or you have one of those glass screen covers that's say damaged or cracked or just dirty, you might want to take off your um, cover, your case for your iPhone and that screen protector cover because potentially those are causing issues and covering up that true depth sensor. Now scrolling down, you want to make sure your face isn't blocked. This is kind of obvious. If you're setting up the face ID, you want it to be so that the iPhone is directly in front of your face like this. You're looking directly at the iPhone camera at the very top center there. Now, if we scroll down, you can make sure that you're facing the true depth camera. We basically just did that. We can restart our device. So hold the volume up and power button, and then we can slide to power off our phone because potentially just restarting that phone will help that face ID if it's not working. And then it says add an alternative appearance or reset your face ID. So let's show you how to do those. Let's go back into settings here and go back into this face ID. And you can see here's an option to set up an alternate of appearance. This will take another scan of your face. Potentially the first one was, you know, corrupted or there's some issues with it or you used to have a beard and now you don't or something like that. So you can just always reset and set up a new alternate appearance. And that should you know, help get your current look and face scanned. If you scroll down, you can see an option for a reset face ID. That's another option. You can completely reset your face ID and make it over again and that could help get your face ID working if it's not working. And then the very last step that Apple recommends is if you go through all of these steps and it's still not working, you might want to just take it into the Apple store so that they can review it and run some diagnostics on it and make sure you know it's working and if it's not, see why it's not working and fix it. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.